Greetings, salutations, it's me, James, your BA Sensei, back with another Power Query tutorial. In today's video, we're gonna do some advanced grouping. And in the grouping, we're gonna take this data set, gives you task numbers, roles, various roles, the people within that role, and the number of hours they spend. We're gonna take this data set and create columns for all the various roles, and then comma delimit the people who are in those roles, and aggregate their number of hours. And we're gonna do it across all tasks, for all of these roles. So there's gonna be a lot of little tricks I'm gonna show you, but enough talking, let me show you how to do it. All right, as always, you click on your data set, you go to data and you say from table arrange. That opens Power Query. Okay, the first thing I wanna do is I wanna group things by the task number. So I'm gonna show you how to do it in mQuery. So we're gonna go to advanced editor. And I'm simply gonna say, yeah, let's do, uh, let's call this thing grouping. And in there, I'm going to say table group my source. How are we going to group it? Let's quickly then say we're going to group it by, let's just say this is group one and this is by task number. That's my comment. And we're going to group it by the task number. Yes. And what we're going to do is we're going to add a new column called data. And in the data, we'll have each statement. And in there for now, I'm just going to put an underscore and we'll close it out and we'll simply say with the let in the end, we're going to return the grouping and that will bring us a normal grouping by task number. You can see the table then summarizes everything for that task number. What I want to do now is I now want to group within this grouping. I want to do another subgrouping, but I want to group by role. So in here, we're going to continue here under each and from after the each, I'm just going to say, let's call this group two. This is by role. And in the each, we're going to start a nested let. So let and in always. Cool. And in there, the reason why we do it is because we want to declare some variables and work with variables. So I'm going to declare my first variable called role group. And in the role group, I'm going to say table group. I'm going to do my grouping inside of this variable. What do we want to group it by? I want to group this by... Uh, let's say roll. Yes. I need to first select what I want to group and that would be the underscore, right? That is my current context. Now I want to group that by the role. Once I'm in the role, I want to now create a new column called RCD for record. And in there, I'm simply going to start a new each statement. And for now, I'm going to do something rather silly, all right? In this each type, and I'm just going to return something silly like I'm going to return the role and the first line there. And I simply want to append it with a S. And you see this in there. I haven't declared that. I'm just going to return the role group underneath the in there. And that should still do it. Let's see what happened. In there, we basically just now returned. Uh, we did a, so we have our main table uh, grouping and by task number, but within the inner grouping per role, we basically just say we have the role and we got the record and we just appended that with the S. Let's go back to this. Yes. Okay. But we're going to make it a little bit more complicated. We're going to do another nested let within this nested let. So we're going to say let and in. We're going to give it a name. Let's call this the role plural. That's the variable we're calling it. I'm going to create another variable in there called row description and in there I'm simply going to say I'm going to start a list with uh, curly brackets and I'm going to say take the role plural and take the role plural again and append that with hours cool and in this in I'm just going to return simply the role description let me show you what that did you're going to say okay cool so we got a list within there but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly show you just give you a little peek what's going on inside there so you can see Inside of that list, we basically have developers and developer hours. Uh, in this one, we got tester and tester hours. Okay, cool. Let's take it a little bit further. Let's declare another variable. In this one, I'm just gonna call values. In the values, I'm gonna also declare another list with curly brackets. I'm gonna say text combine, and I'm gonna combine the person name. I'm gonna combine it, I'm gonna comma delimit it. Yes. And then after that, I'm just going to simply do a list sum of all the hours. And I'm going to return those values. Let's see what that, that did. So now you can see it basically returns that inner grouping per role, gives you the role breakdown, and then the total number of hours 
of all of those people within that role. So that's what we wanted. Okay, cool. Let's go back there. Let's clean it up a little bit. For now, let's make it a little bit better there. And instead of just returning the values, I'm going to say record from the list. Give me the values and give me the role description. Say, okay, this is now going to give me that. You can see now, check how cool that is. So now this record returns the name. These are the developers and that's the total number of hours. This is the testers and there's the tester number of hours. Same with the developer. Let's look at the manager. Whoop, manager and manager hours. Pretty cool. Okay, so let's go in there. Next thing I want to do is I don't want to do this expanded thing the whole time. So I'm just going to take the expanded thing away there. Uh, and let's go back. I'm going to work a little bit in this role group, right? So in this role group, you can see I got the record and the role group is actually that thing over there. So I'm just going to say record combine role group and I'm going to combine everything in this record field over there record field and that should do the trick let's quickly see what that did so now you have a beautiful record of everything that we want to unfold we just want to make these records now columns isn't that cool but we basically solved the problem here that's pretty cool using records and dynamically naming the records uh, the record headers over there cool so now the next thing we want to do is we simply want to just expand over there. I'm going to do it with the user interface, expand there, say, okay, cool. This I know is wrong because we're the managers. This is not the right way to do it, but you can see we're going to use this function over there. So we're going to say advanced editor. I like this expanded dates one, but it's wrong. We want to use that one. That's correct. We want to use the grouping. That's correct. The data, that one is correct. What the UI got wrong is this little section over here. It actually hard coded that. You don't want to hard code anything. Okay, cool. So what we're going to do is, first thing that I would like to do is, I want to, in order to get the column headers, I need to get from the record. So I'm going to say, each record field names. Give me the field names because those are going to become the columns. Right? Cool. Step one. Second step is I want to grab everything from grouping the data. And I know this is a list, so I want to take this as a list. I'm going to say list transform. And I want to transform the grouping data and then each of the record file names and close that out. Okay, that's not all I want to do, but now what I want to do is I want to say list union basically returns a union of all the list values found in the input okay cool what i need to give it there is basically just that close that out and that should do the trick let's quickly see and there we go you see we actually picked it all up we picked all of it up so now we dynamically went from source and recreated using record magic we kind of like pivoted the data and then have dynamic headers like that isn't that pretty cool isn't that cool let's return the data to excel and there it is. There's your solution. Well, I hope this video blew your mind of what you can do with nested lets within nested lets and then grouping within grouping. And then it brings you a beautiful dynamic data set like this. Until we meet again, BA Sensei signing out.